Hi, Alex Williams of the New Stack here for another tutorial. Today we are with John Witherall, a technology evangelist at Active State. John, good to have you here today. Hey, Alex, thanks for inviting me. Great to be here. Uh, well, you bet. And we're going to talk about how Docker is not quite enough and the role of cont container orchestration with platform as a service. And What's interesting to me is how Docker does get a lot of interest, but you know, in its purest form, it's actually quite simple, and so you need a lot more actually, you know, to build out a platform as a service. And as I understand, that's what you're going to be talking about today. Exactly. Yep. Great. So you have a uh, you have some slides to show us and a demo. So why don't we get started? So as Alex mentioned, I'm going to talk a little bit about Docker and container orchestration of Docker using Platform as a Service. And uh, just to get started, I'm from Active State. We're based in Vancouver. We've been around for about 17 years building language packs, really involved in open source. Recently, we've, we've been heavily involved in our Platform as a Service based on Cloud Foundry called Staccato, and I'll be talking about that today a little bit. If you go to um, staccato.com, basically our website, I just went there here uh, earlier, if you go to a website, you'll see a button here that says download our microcloud. If you click this and click uh, the link here, you'll download an image which you can boot in VMware. I've done that earlier. So having booted this image, I now see the TTY console that VM, uh, where Fusion provides. It's, uh, this is a VM running staccato. Everything that you need is here. It also shows you a URL you, you can see there you can use to access the paths. So, um, so I did that earlier. I, I can, um, let me just go right here. I, I hit that URL, which is right here, and, um, and I can then log in. So I log into this username and password I just created this morning, and it gives me the web console for the PaaS. And from here, I can look at the applications that are, that are deployed, and I can deploy new applications as my choosing, any language, Java, Perl, Python, Ruby, Clojure, you name it, any enterprise language is pretty much represented here, PHP. Etc. So what I can do from here is if I want to deploy an application, I click this deploy button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to um, a, a path that's running on, on uh, OpenStack here. Having, so I'll log into this, and what you'll notice, I wanted to illustrate this, this is the exact same console, the same user interface, whether you're using your uh, paths running on your laptop or one running out in the cloud on OpenStack. So I'm just going to run through the same thing. I'm going to deploy an application here. This is a Python application. I specify a few uh, properties as I'm deploying it. And then I say start application after deployment. I click deploy. Now what this is doing is it's grabbing the bits for this application from GitHub, which is where this app happens to be hosted, or the source code for it is hosted. It's creating Docker containers for the application. It's create, uh, creating a container to actually house the application itself, and then it's uh, creating other containers maybe for data services. Um, this application makes use of Redis. And uh, so now that that application is deployed, I can click View Application, and there is my application. This is a currency conversion application. It's a simple three tier, it's actually a three, full three tier app. So it has the user interface running in the browser, has a middle tier with controllers, et cetera, and a back end that's running on Redis. And it's calling out some web service, some bank somewhere to do currency conversions. And um, the point here is that I was able to deploy this app with a single click or two clicks or so, um, and it's deployed the entire stack into the past. There's so much more I can do with this thing. I can, um, I can scale this application. Instantly, I can uh, click auto scaling on, and then I can say, well, I want multiple instances of this application running using these sliders. And you'll see that the paths will automatically spawn up additional instances of this application to respond to load. Now, there's thousands of other things that I could show you. Um, I often give multi, you know, eight hour paths classes. So, 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 just for my clarification, is Staccato orchestrating then the containers automatically? For you know, for the user. Yes, exactly. So Staccato is taking care of building the Docker containers that contain the applications and the services. It's uh, taking care of managing them. When I asked to auto scale my application, it automatically created three or four more containers instantly for me. So I didn't have to deal with all that myself. So if you did have to do it yourself, you'd be hand stitching these things together. 
Exactly. And also stitching things in like logging and monitoring mm -hmm. and dealing with high availability and everything else I mentioned earlier. So um, deploying an application without a PaaS could take weeks or months to get it working right. And with the PaaS, it could be minutes, as you saw here. Well, great. So that's uh, basically what I wanted to cover today, Alex. And uh, I know there's a lot more that I could talk about. Um, if you'd like to learn more, please go to activestate.com slash staccato. And uh, feel free to contact me as well by email or by Twitter. And I'd love to uh, hook up with you and discuss it more. It's a big passion of mine. Well, John, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today about uh, about Docker and you know and how Staccato helps really the user uh, get the most out of the Docker container. So thanks for your time. Great, thanks, Alex. It's been a pleasure.